What's up, Astros? You're logging to your only channel for your gaming entertainment. I'm Chris, the Astros Gamer. This is Undertale. Previously, we went over to Papyrus's house and, excuse me, and he, I guess, took us on a date, except it was at his house. It was real creepy. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, he also ventured into the caves. Actually, we ended up going to Grillby's to eat a burger, I guess. Ours got drowned with ketchup, so Sans was like, here, I'm not hungry. And then he tried to put us in with a freaking 10,000 G bill. I'm like, no. But anyway, this episode we're going to try to see what's at the end of this cave. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of creepy because also last episode, Papyrus asked us what we were wearing and he said he was asking for a friend. And then he said, she, I'm thinking this must be Undyne wanting to figure out who we are. Okay, so obviously that's not the way to go. Oh, hey. Another thing of grass ahead. Oh, shoot. Undying. Oh shoot. What is going on? Ah! Oh wait, I need to heal! No! I'm still dodging these things? Oh no. Uh. Wait, I hope I hope Undying didn't kill that thing. Whatever that was. And I'm just going to use the unicy unicycle, unicycle. Okay, good. Yo, did you see that? Undying just touched me. I never, I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you are standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. And I'm sure I don't want to see her. That was scary. She tried to kill me. And then there's the freaking save thing right there. So long a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. <clears throat> Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Determination to escape undying. Hey, what's up? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How, how's about it? Sure, let's use the telescope. <clears throat> All I see is red. There's not really anything of interest there. Um, what's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Wait. I 
I'll give you a full refund. I was gonna say, there's a red thing on my face. So do I go up or do I go... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So if I go up, I end up here. Ancient gloves have been painted with with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Now just 25G. Sure. Cards in the box, you got an ice cream. Yeah. Hmm. Here you go. Let's see. Whoops. Sorry, I'm reading something here. All right, so I guess that's uh, where I get nice cream. All right, I can't go this way, so the only choice to go is down. You hear a passing conversation. So don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Which way did they go though? Obviously not this one or this way. Oh wait, I can just spare them. But they don't give out any gold. Where did they go though? Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana, because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you obviously changed your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. I wasn't wearing a headband. Oh, there's a wall here. Hmm. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Hmm. I'm just gonna spare them. Well, they don't give me any gold. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Um, I'm being followed. Oh no! Wait, what? Hey there. No, you were here. I'm Onion Son. Onion Son, you hear? Okay, Onion Son. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Leave me alone, Onion Son. Even though the water's getting shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But. Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium is full. It, anyways, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's going to fix everything, you hear? I'm going to get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall that is so weird or that was so weird 
Shiren hides in a corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let's see, tone deaf, she's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Hum hum. Thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Conduct. Or do I hum? You hum a sad song. Shiren Shire follows your melody. Sorry, sorry. So see. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. A. I earned 30 gold. A. <laughs> the northern room has a great treasure. Okay. It's probably a trap. Huh. There's a piano here. Play it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can't play the next part. <laughs> I can't play the next part because it doesn't have the B, C sharp, and D. Uh, but yeah. Uh... And I can't play the fourth below the one there. Haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Only the first eight are fine. Okay. Uh, I'm confused. Hmm. I'm so confused. I am so confused. What am I supposed to do here? Anyway, the northern room has a great treasure. This power has no counter indeed. A human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, the soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb its soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Uh. But how do I know what notes to it? There's nothing on the walls here that gives me any hints at all. The only. The only the thing I know about what to play is uh, Field of Hopes and Dreams or whatever. Thanks to Insane and the Rain. Um, uh what in the world? What am I supposed to play? Because obviously this is the first five notes of this D major scale. Huh. 
Huh. Guess I'll go to the right because there's nothing for me to do up there so far. It's a statue. The structures at his feet seem dry. Please take one. Is this an umbrella? Sure. Okay, that explains why I needed to take the umbrella. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! And I'm just leaving them behind. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would whip the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha ha ha! Okay. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Okay. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. A castle? What? Uh, there's another umbrella, you know. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You wanna see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Sure. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Quit falling on the ground. The sound of muffled rain of the, on the cave top. It fills you with determination. Let's see, save. He was afraid of our power. Declare war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Okay, I kind of see what's going on here. Toriel. Doggo, I think that was his name. I'm pretty sure this is going to come back on me. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us musters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless musters were turned to dust. Poor Toriel. I didn't know what to do. Uh oh. Run! <laughs> Undyne. Undyne's trying to freaking kill me and crap. Oh, that was close. Hey, I ran into a dead end. Oh, shoot. Ah! I got speared. And now they're coming up rapidly. Why?
Why you do this? Stop. Okay, good. I'm gonna that in. Oh no. Re That doesn't look good. It sounds like you came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Sado, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... My name is a bed of flowers. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Garbage. The waterfall here seems to fall from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with the. <laughs> of course, it would end with determination. But this will be, excuse me, the end of the episode because we are actually 22 minutes into the video. I try to keep them between 20 and 30, 20 at minimum, and 30 because sometimes we need wiggle room. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hit thumbs up or thumbs down depending on how you feel about the video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more, and whenever you want to be notified, you can click the bell right next to the subscribe button. I'm Chris, the Astros Gamer. I'll catch you guys later.